what is going on guys today we are back with another video and uh, where are we today well today we are doing some walleye fishing on a spot in which I have probably never ice fished in my whole life but there was a ton of fish here late this fall and how did we end up here today well we actually went to several other lakes and there's either guys fishing where we wanted to fish or there wasn't enough ice to drive a snowmobile so we are back on a lake we've already fished on video yet this year and like I said we're doing some evening walleye fishing now I have no idea what's gonna be on this spot there's gonna be a lot of fish no fish whatever's going on but it is late in the day right now and uh, if I had all day to kind of film this I'd probably would have set up here see what's around and keep moving right well the same thing applies we don't have a lot of time so we're gonna set up here and I've already got Mitchell flipped up in the shack and uh, he's in the Eskimo escape and uh, I got him fishing the underwater camera what we're gonna do is maybe give it like 20 minutes max right and uh, if he's not seeing any walleyes then we're just gonna go right to another spot right and you can't you know even if we don't catch a single fish in that 20 minutes you know having that underwater camera down is gonna give us a great idea if there's even fish around right because a lot of times what we want to do on these really clear systems is set ourselves up for that really good evening bite window you know for like that last hour of the day so that's kind of the plan right now I got Mitch in there I'm gonna drill some holes around and just kind of maybe bounce through them and do some jigging and just see what I mark. Um, but you know, even with like a flasher, you're not really sure what's down there. Running that underwater camera, if we're seeing walleyes, then we know, and if it's a good number of walleyes, then we know it's gonna be a good spot to set up for the rest of the night. So uh, stay tuned, hopefully Mitch starts seeing some walleyes and uh, hopefully we clock a bunch of them tonight. Oh my gosh, dude. I was out punching holes and I kid you not, I just had maybe five, six walleyes swim right through. Just did not even go for this uh, shiner that we have on this dead rod. And as soon as we put this camera down here, had a walleye come in and check it out. It's a good sign. Been here for five minutes. Oh, here's, some, here's a nice one coming in. There's a lot of fish. Oh, dude, a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, look at all these walleyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the, where's the damn minnow right now? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude. Seriously. They're ten, eleven. Suckers. There's like a dozen walleyes everywhere. They're not suckers. No, they're not suckers. They're all white right. tips. Get in here and look. Hurry up. I have one looking at it. Oh, I have one that just took it. One that just took it, right? Did he take it? I cannot tell. The shiner's out of sight. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh. There's wallies everywhere, dude. Where? Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh, Mitchell. <laughs> Thomas. I can hear you talking in here. Yeah. I've, Talk yeah. to me. I've been doing a lot of talking to the camera, but uh, no hook setting. But you're seeing fish. Dude. Man, we just got set up 15 minutes ago, and I probably easily 20 walleye so far. It's incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. that is exactly what I wanted. Obviously, we wanted to see. If that wasn't the case, we would just would have folded the shack up quick, throwing everything back in and kept moving. But now that he has seen fish, um, I already kind of drilled a hole, some holes for some tip-ups. What I'm going to do is go around and throw some set lines in and then probably drill some extra holes for me hopping around jigging while Mitch kind of camps it out in here. Um, now, one thing that arrived us, you know, where the shack is right now is being out in the boat. This is kind of like, it's a, this is a big weed point that comes off the shoreline. And uh, this is right out on the tip of it. But more importantly than being on the tip of it, this is where most of the fish sit when they use this point. And how do I know that? Because um, I you know, went out here in the boat and saw all the fish sitting here, right? On side imaging and stuff like that. So, um, you know, most spots, big spots, will have some kind of spot like this where it's like the spot on the spot, sweet spot. And a lot of times that's where I like to put the shack and then I like to put the tip ups kind of out around, spread out around that area, right? So hopefully Mitchell's got the hot hole in here, but we got plenty of fish around and baits in front of fish. So hopefully good things will happen. All right, guys, first flag of the afternoon here. And look at this, she is just a spinning away. Look at that, hooked up right away, Mitchell. We just got out here. I just got the tip-ups in, and uh, I think we got the right fish on here. Mitch has been in the shack the whole time, and he is saying that there's a ton of fish down there. <laughs> and, oh yeah, look at that, right away. First thing to get things going here. Late afternoon, actually it's about mid-afternoon right now. We'll take that, it's a beautiful about 18 inch right there. That little octopus hook right in the top of the mouth here. And that is just right on cue what we wanted to happen. 
I just got the spread out, like I said, and uh, right away this thing popped. But I'm gonna quit talking and get this fish back because the bitch is just seeing a ridiculous amount of fish inside the shack. So we'll let that guy go. See you later, buddy. Back he goes. All right, let's get set up, catch some more. Ooh, here's one coming in, lurking off to the side. Saw faint, oh yeah, here's one coming in. Nice walleye, take it, take it, come on. He's looking right at it. Dude, such a cool shot. Come on, eat it. You know you want it, buddy. Accept my offering. Oh no, don't swim away from it. You want to eat that, you're hungry. My gosh. <laughs> That's just, oh, he's coming back. No. Hooked up. Fish on jigging right now. What did we got? Oh my gosh, look at that thing. <laughs> that is ridiculous. For a perch around here, that is straight up ridiculous. That is a toad. Not what I thought it was, but man, he choked. That full-size Castmaster with a big old shiner head on there. He came in just like a walleye. Absolutely throttled. Let's see if I can even get this guy off here without the players. Oh, here he comes. He's got more perch going down his belly here, but look at that thing. That is an absolute toad. We do not get a lot of big perch up here in northern Wisconsin, but that is one of them right there. Cool looking fish. These big perch are definitely a cool fish. Let him go. See you later, buddy. We definitely got a fish here. Let's see what we got. It's actually jigging right next to this flag. When it went out, hooked up, fish on. Feels like we probably got something not super big here. Look at that, another jumbo. That's crazy, I just jigged a jumbo perch. Now we've got one on the tip ups. Not what we set up here for. But hey, nice little bycatch there. It's probably a 12 incher on a shiner. And man, when these perch get all ramped up, they get to be just an incredibly aggressive fish. Well, we have not been out here for very long and a uh, couple jumbo perch, nice walleye. We're hoping the, the school of walleyes as Mitch has seen comes back here at evening. There we go. We'll catch big perch in the meantime. Look at that sun. Just went down right on cue, flag. Now, if this is a walleye, it'll feel like we are slightly more successful. We'll see what we got going on here. Hooked up, fish on. Feels like a walleye. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Just a little guy. But hey, it is the right species. Not exactly the size we're after. But hey, I guess catching walleyes is catching walleyes, right? A little about 13, 14 incher maybe. We'll let that guy go. And hope that his big brother Decides to bite shortly here. Just a cute little guy though. Oh, there he goes. No, oh, I'm just like, a little dinky perch actually might have. He might have it. He does. Oh my gosh. Every time I look away, fish just come in. Super cool. Not a bad one. Oh, man. Just a little perch, not what I'm after, but caught a fish in here, so I'll take it.
All right, guys, we got a flag up here. There's definitely a fish on here. And give him a little line. Hooked up. Feels like a walleye. Got good head shakes on him. Another one of these little guys. There's literally a plane flying around. And look at that. Little walleye here. On the tip up. Another one of these little dinkers though. These are not the ones Mitchell's seeing on camera. Not the ones at all. We'll get them popped off real quick here. There he is. Just a little... Just a little runt walleye. Yeah, we'll let him go. We'll let him go and hope for bigger ones. All right, well, here's uh, my first attempt. Oh, look, it, it did move. It hasn't moved this whole time. Starting to spin. It's starting to spin. Might be a fish on here. A lot of perch bites. What do you think, Tom? Walleye bite? I'm guessing walleye. Some weight on there. Oh, got him. Got him. Does not feel big. You got a glorious backdrop right now. Do we? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't feel big, but it does not feel like a perch, so that's encouraging. Oh, look at that. What do you got, Mitchell? Look at that. Got a little, got a little guy. Oh, look at that little guy. He choked it too, didn't he? Well, hold that, hold that little cutie out for the camera. Uh, okay. All right. Here, little cutie. <laughs> <laughs> little 14 incher. Hey, I'll tell you what though. I saw about 25, 30 walleys in that shack. Zero luck, and come out here. Right away. Right away. Fish top side. Yeah, definitely not the walleyes I was seeing on camera, as you can tell. Those were pretty large fish, but. Something. The little guys are biting. It's yeah. something, it's a walleye. A few years will be nicer. For right. now he gets to survive another night. See you later, buddy. All right, well, after seeing dozens and dozens of fish on camera, um, unless Mitchell was lying to me and they were in fact suckers, which he might have been, um, very uneventful overall. I mean, I guess we did get four walleyes on camera, um, a few short ones, and then one nice chunky one, uh, but just kind of the way it goes. And nor walleye fishing up here in northern Wisconsin, a lot of these big clear bodies of water, no shortage of walleyes in them really. Um, and we can generally get on the fish. It's just a matter of if they bite or not. And most of the time throughout the winter, it is very, very, very finicky like catching one or two fish, right? And to actually get into a lot of numbers and have them actually bite and then catch them, um, difficult. But uh, yeah, that was kind of the wrap up on the night. We caught a few fish, not too bad, nothing great for sure. Um, you know, fishing this way where we kind of pull up onto a piece of structure, drop the camera down, see what's around. Um, it's one of the for sure ways you know you're around fish. And obviously we were around a lot of fish, we just didn't get the bites that we were hoping to get. But hey, it happens. Would you agree, Mitchell? It can't does. see you over there at all but uh yeah it just happens that way and uh not a super productive evening but i do appreciate you guys watching if you guys are not yet please subscribe we'll be hitting the ice every day um we actually filmed all day yesterday too and didn't post a video we caught a bunch of perch and some other stuff but it just wasn't that great and i got to get better at just posting kind of whatever happens i always hope for the home run swing and uh to capture that on video but the reality is that does not happen every day so um like i said i do appreciate you guys watching um please subscribe to this channel it helps me out a lot and hopefully this channel helps you guys out a lot and uh thanks for watching stay tuned for more because i'll be getting up early once again tomorrow and uh, hopefully shooting some good content. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.